The Singapore Prison Service, SPS, enforces the safe and secure custody of inmates. We provide rehabilitation programs and partner the community to prevent reoffending for a safer Singapore. In 1996, SPS commenced its infrastructure planning to consolidate its 16 standalone prisons and drug rehabilitation centers dispersed across the island into 10 purpose-built institutions in the redeveloped Changi Prison Complex, CPC. Cluster A, comprising five institutions, was operationalized on 16 August 2004. Picking up momentum and learning from the building of Cluster A, Cluster B was operationalized on 20th January 2010. CPC, with its two clusters of 10 prisons, came with new integrated security systems and provided economies of scale for better programs and skills training. The prison headquarters also shifted from its old colonial buildings at Upper Changi Road North into the CPC in 2019, achieving another critical milestone in SPS's redevelopment plan. The transformation of SPS infrastructures continues. In 2011, SPS embarked on plans to redevelop the old Salarang Park Community Supervision Centre to meet our emerging needs. The groundbreaking ceremony on 29th July 2016 set in motion the construction of SPC. After 40 months of construction, amidst an unprecedented global COVID-19 pandemic, SPC finally opened its gates in 2020. Taking a tour around today, you will find the Drug Rehabilitation Center, DRC, in S1 for the compulsory treatment and rehabilitation of first and second timer DRC inmates. A work release camp in S2, a prison link center for visits by family, a community supervision center where supervisees report, a government halfway house, a quarantine center for prisoners to prevent the spread of contagious diseases in the densely packed CPC in the event of pandemic, and a SPF canine base to provide security coverage to meet operational needs of SPS and the Singapore Police Force. With in-care and aftercare facilities housed in one complex, SPC emphasizes the importance of through care rehabilitation and community corrections to support the reintegration of offenders. SPC sprang to life as preparation for the operationalization intensified over six months before the D-Day. More than 490 staff participated in various activities such as training on new SOPs, change management town halls, and familiarization tours for staff and volunteers. With preparations all done, staff operationally ready, the move plans kicked in. First in line, 200 male and female supervisees bid their farewells to the rustic Lloyd Lee's Community Supervision Center to S2 on 26 July, 2020. Over a span of three days, Around 700 inmates were moved into S1 from the Tanamera Prison and Institution B5. With the safety of our inmates and supervisees as our top priority, the move was successfully completed in September 2020, completing the process of centralization of all prisons in the eastern part of Singapore in purpose-built prison. SPC being the newest prison infrastructure, is the test bed for the implementation of SPS's Corrections 2025 strategy of Prison Without Guards. In SPC, technology helps enhance security for greater efficiency in the face of manpower constraints. Staff can readily access inmate information on mobile devices without leaving their duty points. 100% CCTV coverage in the complex and video analytics enable prison officers to detect irregular behaviors in cells such as fights from a control room and respond immediately 
where necessary. Tapping on facial recognition technology, inmates and supervisees can have unescorted access across specific secured zones within prison facilities. With more efficient processes, officers will have more time to provide the personal touch where it really matters, in rehabilitation. In SPC, we make our prison a smart one, in a smart nation, not only for our staff, but also for our inmates. Inmates are provided with industry-specific relevant skills and employment assistance by Yellow Ribbon Singapore. With more opportunities for learning, inmates are better prepared for release under community supervision in SPC, where they will be supervised and assisted in their reintegration with the support of the community. Building future capabilities for SPS from in-care to aftercare together with our community partners. In SPC, an exciting new chapter of Community Corrections begins today.